I'm back. Road Rants for our Black and White Network. Well, it seems that Ron DeSantis has unveiled a plan that would put the woke Marxists over at Disney under the same laws as everybody else. As we know, uh, Disney tried to get heavily involved with Florida in the leftist dubbed don't say gay bill. And well, that didn't work out. Bob Chapik jumped out there and said, we're getting involved. We'll do everything we can to stop this bill. Now, keep in mind, it was a bill to keep assholes from, uh, peddling sex in public schools towards K through third graders. Yeah. Okay. Groomers. Thanks, Disney. Well, Disney got involved and, uh, It pissed Ron DeSantis off, of course, the governor of Florida. And uh, he said, you know what? Since you decided to get involved with that, you get a special uh, privilege down in Florida called the Reedy Creek Improvement Act. And what they did was it gave a bunch of privileges to Disney. uh, Disney essentially has acted all these years as its own state, its own functioning state with its own laws. And DeSantis said, no, we've had enough of that. No more privileges like that. You're about to fall under the same laws as everybody else in the state. Well, Ron DeSantis has presented that plan that will kick Disney right in the balls. And I'm going to tell you what's hilarious. You know, Bob Chapik and Disney decided to get involved in this, and uh, it basically cost him his job. And Bob Iger has been rehired. Bob Iger has since publicly come out and said, probably shouldn't have got involved in something like that. Well, and and I did a video, might have been last weekend, where Disney has lost $123 billion, essentially, in the last two years, and it has really taken a nosedive since they picked a fight with Governor Ron DeSantis. This is Breitbart. Disney back, uh, DeSantis backed plan would replace Disney World's self-rule with state oversight under the same laws... As everybody else, Florida isn't backing down from its intention to strip Walt Disney World of its self-governing status following Disney's decision to pick a political fight with Governor Ron DeSantis last year over the state's anti-grooming parental rights and education law. A new plan introduced by state legislature Friday with the backing of the governor proposals proposes a special law that would be put in place state oversight Disney's Reedy Creek Improvement District, effectively ending Disney's self-rule over its Orlando fiefdom, where it has enjoyed numerous privileges, including tax breaks, for five decades. The measure would also prevent Disney from using taxpayers' dollars to pay off the district's outstanding debts and bond obligations. By the way, uh, at least one shareholder is now suing Disney. And I think there's several other ones circling lawsuits because shareholders are pissed because I mean, you know, shareholders do expect companies to try to maximize profits. And that's not what Disney is doing. It's not Uh, in any way. They got involved with politics and they brought a bunch of wokeness into all their content. I mean, they are just, their box office is tanking. It's a mess. The notice for the plan was posted on Oscola's County's official site, but the legislation would impact Orange County since Disney operates in both counties. Quote, the corporate kingdom has come to an end. DeSantis Communication Director Taryn Finsky, Finsky, Finsky said in a statement to Breitbart News, under the proposed legislation, Disney will no longer earn its own government will live under the same laws as everyone else and will be responsible for their outstanding debts and will pay their fair share of taxes. Amen. She added, imposing a state control board will also ensure that Orange County cannot use this issue as a pretext to raise taxes on Orange County residents. Amen. Part two, Governor DeSantis will have the power to appoint members of Reedy Creek's oversight board if the bill passes, sources told Fox News. The Walt Disney World Company waged an unsuccessful political war against DeSantis 
last year over the state's parental rights and education law, which the left and the mainstream media dubbed the Don't Say Gay Law. The law prohibits teaching of sexuality and gender ideology, including transgenderism, to children in kindergarten through third grade. I actually argued that the uh, the law didn't go far enough. That they that they really and truly, I think every state should enact it from K through twelve. Don't put this shit in public schools. Period of any grade. Under, of course, I think they should also be still praying in school, but hey, that's just me. Uh, one of our problems in this society is everybody's gotten away from God. Under then CEO Bob Chapik and their morals and values followed suit. Disney caved to a small group of activists and pledged to fight the legislation and get it repealed. In response, Governor DeSantis proposed terminating the Reedy Creek Improvement District. In April, the state legislature voted to end Disney's special status. And I'm going to tell you what's funny. Bob Chepik did that, and then like a week later, DeSantis said, you know what, let's just pull your Reedy Creek uh, status from you. And it was like, oh, crap. Old, now new, Disney CEO Bob Iger recently expressed regret that the company got into a fight with Florida, telling an employee town hall meeting, he was, quote, sorry to see us dragged into that battle. But just last year, before returning to Disney, Iger publicly denounced Florida's law and even chided the corporate CEOs for not getting more involved in politics, saying activism is important, quote, even if voicing an opinion on those issues potentially put your, some of your business at, in, in danger. So uh, he, like I, he has since backed off on that. Uh, Probably, again, because they're starting to face lawsuits now from shareholders that all they care about is making money. Okay, shareholders want to make money, and they want to make as much money as possible, and they continue down this road. They're not actually holding up their end of the bargain as a company, and they can be held responsible for that. Okay, plain and simple. Um, Now, what's going to happen? I don't know. We've talked about on here, and look, we've made quite a few of these Disney-related uh, videos over to them jumping over into politics, and they've been in politics for a long, long time with Lucasfilm and with the MCU. It's all in their content, and their box office reflects it. They've taken powerful IPs, they've ruined Star Wars, and they're heading down the road of Marvel being ruined right now. I mean, they've got properties out there that are Marvel that ha- haven't nearly performed as well as they should at the box office. Why? Well, people don't want to see their characters turn gay or lesbian or whatever. You know, they, I mean, they just don't. Not when they've already got an established character and, you know, uh, comic storylines involved. Yeah, you don't you don't care to see that. Uh, so, are they race swap somebody? That's the other one that everybody loves to do. And, and yeah, people that care about story and staying closely and abiding to said established stories don't want to see that shit. When you do that, people pull their box office monies away. Also, well, like a movie like Lightyear, they've got same-sex relationships in a cartoon that's meant for children. You know you got problems when you can no longer leave your kid in front of a Disney product and say, hey, just watch watch this for a while while I do my office work. No, can't do that. Parents don't like that bullshit, Disney, by the way. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Well, it's about to be a wrap on Disney's special privileges. They will fall under the same laws. As everybody else. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.